everybody. Vacations, home improvement projects, and new summer jobs are all opportunities for scammers to learn way too much about you. Financial professional Casey Marks is here to tell us how to avoid those summer scams. Glad to have you in today. Thank you for having me. Now, a lot of folks say, okay, scammers are just for a certain age group. What would you say to somebody who says, now, who is actually at risk for being scammed? Well, Federal Trade Commission data says that younger people are targeted most, but mm -hmm. it actually turns out that senior citizens report losing the most money, mm -hmm. which is a major issue. Issue. So at our firm, we pay a lot of attention to that because these are folks that are living on a fixed income and they're the last people that can afford to go backwards. So we maintain an open door policy at our firm mm -hmm. because we want to answer any questions. Of course, if something comes up of that nature, we want to make sure that nobody's going backwards for any reason. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really, it, it's hard when you hear about scams that happen. So we want to make sure that we're helping folks with that. So then everybody could be vulnerable then to some of these scams. Anybody. What are some of the big ones that you see, especially in our area here in central Indiana? So the employment scams are the, the Better Business Bureau says that employment scams are the most prevalent. Mm -hmm. And so you, you get folks that will retire and they look for part-time work. Mm -hmm. And these are unsolicited job offers that you'll see on Craigslist or posted on social media, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And the red flags you really want to look out for are um, essentially, um, you know, benefits that are way too good to be true, good or you know, say. you're yeah, you're, you're gonna um, work from home, things like that. Mm -hmm. But they're really looking for your sensitive information, like your social security right. uh, number, your banking information during the application process, mm -hmm. which is really not the way it usually works. If you've ever applied for a job, you, you give that to them afterwards After, for payroll and things like that. Yeah. So if, if somebody doesn't want to meet with you, if they're hesitant to give you their contact information, but they're asking for that type of data, you're probably sure they're they're not a good person to be talking to and you should run in the opposite direction. What about folks traveling this time of year? I know that's an opportunity for somebody to take advantage of you. Yeah, so you know the, the weather heats up and the scams heat up in terms of tra travel as well. Mm -hmm. And um, what you'll end up seeing is especially online people will post um, you know travel deals that have an urgent time commitment so you know book within the next four hours and you'll get this amazing deal. Mm -hmm. And you know I say use common sense. So if there's a 10 night stay in Aruba for the price of a dinner at a Cracker Barrel, you know you're probably <laughs> you do the math on that. Yeah, one. <laughs> it's probably not going to be legit. Right. Um, the best way to defend yourself on that is to use reputable sites, right? Um, but they're after your credit card information. Right. So you know, a hundred dollars for a travel deal, mm -hmm. you put in your credit card information. Now they've got it. And so that's, you want to be careful. So those are some of the scams. Tell me what people should do if they think that they're a victim of a scam or somebody's trying to scam them. Well, you need to report it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's several resources that you can use uh, to report it. And we have those listed on our website, crownhaven.com. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, if you feel like your credit card information or your social security information has been compromised, you need to reach out to the appropriate authorities and let them know. Right. Uh, particularly the credit card companies, they're going to be just as you know, <laughs> interested in in pursuing they fraudulent don't want you activity. To lose their money, aren't yeah, they? I mean, oh. they're 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 going to be uh, really engaged as well. So well, you are a wealth of information on yeah. this. Thanks for coming in and sharing all this. Thanks we'll for be sure me. to put this on wishtv.com. Let people know again some of those big scams. Of course, they just break your heart when you hear people have lost thousands. Yeah, it's it's a shame. Oh. So and so preventable, especially yeah, if you take those absolutely. precautions. Thank you so much, Casey. Thanks for having me. All right, Marcus.